got no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay we So college football yeah. Right, can we get into this game? We gotta get the show. Bro. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to. I'm trying this to. This can't be an hour and a half, two hour show today. <clears throat> hey. I'm right there with you. And we gonna start off. We we gonna start it off with my team, two and zero, beat an SCC team. Should have really blew them out the other Don't day. Even say it like that. Like, they should have blew them out. No, I'm they saying like, beat an SEC team. They beat a Louisville team with Brian Kelly in his first year. Like this, uh, LSU pump team, your brakes, bro. Yeah, uh, pump LSU your team. Bro. Pump your brakes. So just bro. so, 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 so just one good win in four years. So just be clear. Just to be clear, it's all about Georgia and Bama, right? Yeah. All right. Florida State, 2-0, and 1-1 one one against the spread, taking on the Louisville Cardinals, who bounced back against UCF. Um, but my bet did cover in that, which was the first half, get in and get out. One and one on the year, one and one against the spread. This line opened up in favor of um, Louisville minus one. It has since jumped to Florida State minus two and a half. And there were some pickums out there uh, when the line originally dropped as well. Um, the total opened up at 54 right now. We're looking at 56 and a half um, on most boards right now. Actual factuals for Florida State. Four and one against spread in the last four games. They under hit six out of the last six games. Uh, they are four and one in the last five games, but one and five against the spread in the last six games against Louisville. Two and four straight up in the last six games against Louisville. And two and 14 straight up in the last 16 games on the road. Um, the total has gone under four out of the last five games against an ACC conference opponent. And they are one and seven against the spread in, uh, in the last eight games against an Atlantic division opponent actual factors for louisville louisville the totals hit over six out of the last eight games 12 or six straight up in the last 18 games at the crib it's also hit went over four out of the last five games when playing against florida state uh two and four straight up in the last six games against an atlantic division opponent 13 and five against the spread in the last 18 games on week three but only three and 11 against the spread in the last 14 games whenever they play at the crib at home on a friday uh, injury reports right now for Florida State offensive lineman Lyles. He is out. Dix Jr. linebackers, he's out for the season as well. Uh, running back Douglas, he is questionable for this game, undisclosed. Running back CJ Campbell is out for the season as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Yelling at them kids all day, man, on both levels. Got my voice gone. Uh, Louisville's got Jermaine Lowe, defensive lineman. He is out. And Jalen Mitchell, running back, is questionable. Um, last time we seen Florida State, they won 24-23 against LSU. And Louisville, like I said, came back at the half and won 20-14. to <clears throat> Damn. Marley, I'm going to let you go ahead and take this one, man, because my voice is killing me, and then it's going to come back around. I got you. I got you. I know Moose is uh, – this is Moose's Louisville Cardinals. Right um, he's very high on this team. I'm not. I'm not so high on them. Um I do like. Wasn't this? This was his sleeper, huh? Yeah, this is dark this horse. Is, yeah, Moose is dark horse's team right here. And don't get me wrong, I like Cunningham. That's probably about all I like on that team. Um, I'm not going to overreact to the UCF victory because I don't know how good UCF is. But I'm not going to overreact to the Syracuse uh, defeat neither. Which I don't think Syracuse is that good, but I think they're better than recent. Um, but I like Florida State. Um, I think they have the better athletes overall on the roster. Um, I think their defense uh, front is 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 legit. I think they'll do enough to slow Cunningham down. Although Friday nights in Louisville can get a little crazy, um, and it's been like at, that for years, times, decades. So, um, this is going to be a tough game because of the atmosphere. You know how it is in college football; like that means a lot. Um, so I can easily see Louisville pulling this off at home, being a home dog here. I actually like the over. Um, I think that in order for Louisville to pull off the set upset, they're going to have to score. I don't think their defense would be enough to keep Florida State out of the end zone. But I think Florida State's the better team here. So I was torn between the over and taking Florida State. The only thing that scares me, honestly, with Florida State 
is the fact that the atmosphere of what it would be in Louisville on a Friday night, nothing else really going on but that game. Everybody and their mother is going to be in Louisville. That's why those nights are kind of kind of crazy, right? But I just think Florida State has the better players, top to bottom on the roster, honestly. I do think um, the quarterbacks obviously are close, uh, Jordan Travis and Malik Cunningham. But I think top to bottom, athlete for athlete, Florida State is the better team. And um, I'll just – anything under three, um, I tend to money line. Just, uh, you know it. Um, so you know it. So, we need Florida State on the money line. Um, tough game just because Louisville and on Friday night is a tough place to play. But I just think this is the better team, honestly. Um, I do – think they're on the come up uh this year so give me the seminoles um give me the money line and i lean over and nothing official at least as of right now money moves your dark horse taking on my team right. how you feel yeah so i would like to read a text or a, a dm <laughs> that i sent marley on tuesday september 6th before you guys did the show Am I crazy to think Louisville should be favored? It was a bad game, but Syracuse is a tough place to play, and this team beat UCF last year when they had Gabriel. His response, fuck no, you're crazy, I'll take UCF. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, I, I like I like Malik. I mean, it, and I thought that defense actually showed us some stuff last week. How much of a conversation, how much is this discussion going to change if LSU doesn't just shoot themselves in the foot on their own fucking one yard line? I mean, this entire narrative changes yeah. into, you know, Florida State let a game get away. Uh, Louisville just came off of a game where they were able to come back and, and win a game on the road at the bounce house. And that bounce house was bouncing. Like, that was a really raucous environment. I, I do not think that Florida State is necessarily the better team, so I will disagree with uh, with Marley on that because I think that if you match them up, uh, like there's going to be certain players that are absolutely more athletic on Florida State, but you're also going to have a, a, a very similar amount of athletes on the Louisville slot on the Louisville side, hmm. and that defensive front they caused some problems for UCF last week, and that LSU front which was kind of unknown but was expected to be good, they caused problems for Florida State and caused a lot of scrambles out of the pocket and a lot of checkdowns. Uh, I could see this being a, another first half over as the uh, defense has hit and getting pressure. And then as that pressure starts to get into the backfield, I would see a slowdown. I can see a very similar game script to last week. I'm planning as I live bet this, and if you want to check in with me and Cab on the live stream, uh, I believe that – I'm going to try to get on a first half over if the first possession doesn't go touchdown. And if it does, I'm going to probably have to sit back and watch. But if it's not, if it's not, I'm going to be on that first half over more than likely live. All right. All right. So official play the first half over for my boy Moose. Picks from Dave. Do you have a play on this one? I'll make it quick. I don't have a play. I have thoughts. I do not like Malik Cunningham. I didn't like him last year. I didn't like him all five or six or ten years he's been there. If you're a mobile quarterback and you're any good, you're in the NFL by now. He's garbage. He can't throw the ball. He can run the ball. But the um, problem is FSU's defense didn't look that bad. I'm under I'm, – I'm not – no offense. I'm not impressed by how uh, Florida State played. I do think they're the better team. When I saw this game, um, without capping it, I thought that it would definitely be uh, – uh, Florida State by a lot more. Uh, the problem is I capped it and indexed it and actually at home. I, ha I have these teams as um, a pick them on a neutral site. So if you're giving two and a half or three points, if that's how you're capping it, I would have Louisville as uh, the favorite. But I'm staying off this because I really don't know where to go. I do lean Florida State because Malik Cunningham's trash, but I'm staying off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not on official first half over. I'm just saying if I can live bet oh, first okay, half over. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, I'm on my Seminoles. Uh, everything that Dave just said is kind of pretty much what I was going to say, uh, especially about Cunningham. I'm on, I like what I see so far. I'm not a fan of Novit, Novell. Uh, I think he'll, he'll, wet a, uh, 
he will fuck a wet dream up in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm not messing with him at all. I mean, but in this case, I'm just gonna my rule. If it's less three or less, take the money line. I'm taking money line Florida State. Like the way the defense played uh, against LSU, Louisville. G- I don't know. The atmosphere is the only thing that will make you kind of stay away from this. But I'm on Florida State to start off my weekend on a good note. Let's go Seminoles. Hey, we appreciate everybody tuning in. I am the coach. That's Marley Bits. Uh, 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 uh. Check it out. Uh, look. We from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay We 